with generative AI, there are options for trusters to get access to new code, and actually they can save a lot of time in their fraudulent campaigns. My name is Pablo de la Riva, and this is your weekly update. Today, we are going to talk a little bit more about malware. In the past, man in the browser injections basically inject JavaScript code in the device, modifying what the user see. That was modified by man in the middle attacks, which means that the fraudsters, even when they still have the devices infected, they need to interact with the victim to continue the session and there were three different options. The first one was a phishing campaign, the second one is having access remotely through a remote destroyer, and the last one is hijacking the cookie session. Those campaigns as well can be applied to mobile phones in which they can modify the account destination which is called the Ivan swapping and having access to mule accounts in real time using ATS, the automatic transfer system. Systems, the fraudsters publish their mule accounts as a service and the malware can automatically go for one of those mule accounts in the IRA AI malware detection. On one side, AI determines if an anomaly is the user or not, complemented afterwards with checking those signatures with antivirus technology and on the other side, malware detection for mobile environments that analyze the behavior of the application itself, what are the permissions that they have access and if that application is trying to interact with the banking up. You also validate in a second layer with signatures that classify in the past, understanding if those signatures are matching with malware that is targeting the bank itself. So there are exciting times coming in the anti-fraud area and we are going to win this battle. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.